Hi, my name is Søren Bellegaard and in this video I'll talk about the blues, how to apply the pentatonic scale uh, using target notes in the blues on the pentatonic scale. <laughs> examples of how you can play a blues with different rhythms and different approach notes from above and from below. Um, I keep it very simple just to make it clear what, I'm, what I mean with this. This exercise uses two A notes before uh, the target note but then on the target note I start using more rhythms so more notes. Still I keep everything within the grooves so the approach notes are within the grooves and the target notes are within the group. Okay, here goes. on the fourth beat and play A, F from the G group to the two jumps G. Then I go on the fourth beat, beat of the second bar, I go to the D group again, an F, C and a D. I stay in the D group for the fourth bar, uh, approach C, F and D. Then I go to the G group on the fourth beat of the fourth bar, I'm already there, A, F and then on the fifth bar, the G, 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 F, G. I repeat that same pattern on the uh, sixth bar, A, F as an approach, G, G, then I leave out the F, place another G. I kind of repeat that rhythm as a, a little theme there. And I go on to the seventh bar, uh, I go to the D group, uh, approaching it with the F, C and two Ds. I approach do the same, but throw that down an octave, C, uh, F, C and a D. Then I go to the A group on the fourth beat of that eighth bar with a G, C and a double A. I repeat that rhythm and then I actually use the uh, rhythm above from the G, uh, G, C, A, A, a little A in the rest and then another A. So I repeat that rhythm to get a thematic uh, repeat there. Um, and again, the same, same th the thematic uh, repeat on the D uh, group in the 11th bar. So, F, C, D, D, C, D. And then I end on the A group, G, C, A, A, G, A. The next example, I start to change more in the rhythm. I start uh, to put more 8 notes before my target note and also put more eight notes or quarter notes on my target note so to continue my line. I'm still focusing on going getting to the target note. So my lines mostly start in the middle of the bar going to the target note. I'm not so much thinking about what I'm playing on the one but more how am I going to get to my target note that's coming. I'll play this uh, exercise with a metronome. It's also a great way to practice your timing. example the D group as beginning D C D then I go to the G group on the fourth beat A F G F then I repeat that G going to the D group on the three end F F C and then I am on the D group D C D still playing in the D group C F 
D, C, D, and then I, on the three end, go to the G group. So F, A, F, and then I'm on the fifth bar, G, G, F. And then on the sixth bar, I keep on the G group, G, F, G, G, F, and then on the to the seventh bar, I start on the sixth bar, three end, with the D group, C, 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 and then I'm on the seventh bar, D, D, F. Going towards the eighth bar, I stay in the D group, C, 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 D, D, F, repeating the pattern from just before. Um, going to the A, A group, I repeat the rhythmical pattern of the approach. So, G, G, A, but then I stop leaving that open on the first beat. Continuing in the A group, starting on the third beat, having some room over there, I make an approach to the A um, on the 10th bar, A, G, A, C, and then I'm on the 10th bar, 10th bar, A, G. I repeat the G, then I go back to the D bar on the 11th uh, bar, C, uh, F, C, D, D, and then continuing with the C, Going to the A group, to the 12th bar, the approach C, C, A, and then I stay in the A group, G, A, and then the 4th beat, I go on in the D group, F, C, D. In example 3, I try to play more over the bar line, play more unexpected. I stay in the groups, of course. I stay with the approach notes of the groups. Um, that's my main theme. <laughs> C and then I'm playing around to the D, the C, D, F, D, then I continue in the D group on the fourth beat of the first bar with the surrounding of the G, F, G, A, G. I continue playing actually in the uh, G group, G, F, G, and then I approach the D with an F and then I'm playing around the D on the beat. C, D, F, D, C, D on the fifth, fourth bar there. Then I'm going to the G on the fifth bar with two quarter notes, A, F, and then I'm playing G, F, G, F on the fourth beat of that fifth bar, again approaching the G on the sixth bar, A, F, and a G, G as quarter notes. Then I'm approaching the D again with an F, G, F, D, playing a chord note D, going again to the D bar, C, D, F, D, and then I'm approaching the A on the um, ninth bar, C, A, G, A, C, A, staying on the group of the A, G, A, C, A, going towards the D with the D group and approach the C, double D, -E, C, D, and then at the end, I play C, A uh, in the group of the A, ending on F, D, leading to the first note, C. Thank you very much for watching my video. All the examples can be downloaded on my website and all the text is transcribed. Um, so, take a look at my website. And further, if you really like it, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you around for my next video. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.